To program the ATtiny 13A in assembly, we'll first open up Atmel Studio and click on New Project. This can be done by clicking on New Project, Assembler, and AVR Assembler Project. Go ahead and name it Blink or Blink2 and click OK. Then search for ATtiny 13A from the Device menu and select it. As seen, the ATtiny 13A has 64 bytes of RAM, 64 bytes of EEP ROM, and 1 kilobyte of flash storage. The code seen here begins by including the ATtiny 13A definition file, which has the different registers and their names. Next, the .org0 is the vector that happens whenever a reset occurs. As such, it jumps to the init label, which sets the data direction register for port B3 to an output. Next, in loop, it sets bit 4, which is port B3, to high, and then calls the timer. So in the timer label, it sets register 16, 17, and 18 to their initialized values, and then it jumps to timer 2, where it increments each one of those up until about 9.6 million, which corresponds to 9.6 megahertz. And then after all that, it returns back to where it's called. So that would be line 11. Then it clears the bit and then calls the timer again to delay it by one more second, and then jumps back to the loop for it to begin again. To program it, all I have to do is go up to device programming, click on the AVR ISP programmer, and then go to the memories tab and click program. This will flash the program via ISP to the ATtiny13A. Then after a reset you should see it start to blink.